Today we're going to do some contour line drawing. Um, a contour line drawing is the outer edge drawing of the objects that whatever you're going to draw or paint. Um, and you can include as much detail or as little detail as you, as you want. Um, in this case I want you to include as much detail as you possibly can. Um, and it, it, it's a way to start developing scale and proportion and so forth and you can figure out relationships and it's before you get into the whole big drawing of shading and everything and then you find out you messed up and then you have to erase or start all over again. Um, you know the contour line drawing allows you to kind of figure out your overall shape um, and to make sure everything is the way you like it before you start adding those extra extra things whether it be value or color uh, if it's for a painting or a pastel drawing. Um, on the stream I posted uh, several objects that you guys are going to draw. Uh, you're going to draw each of those objects twice uh, from two different angles um, in order to get good at it or to practice it I guess um, and then we'll move on towards the end of the week where we'll start adding value and so forth to those things. So um, right now I'm going to go ahead and do this this paint tube here. Um, when I start contour line drawings I'm going to kind of start with the bigger shapes, okay, um, and in this case, as I see it, it's more of a rectangle than it is uh, anything else. So, even though I know it's a cylinder, I'm going to start as a rectangle and then work my way into a cylinder and then to uh, adding the different values or not values, but different irregularities of of the shape. So, but just by using these rectangles. It's kind of given me the ability to kind of see my proportions and my scale and so forth. Once I've established, as you saw, the shape, I'm pretty happy with it right away. You know, so I'm going to stick with a lot of the, the original lines that I drew. Again, not worried about value, but I do want to show that, you know, the, the color change of the wrapper of the paint tube. I'm not going to fill this black spot in, but it's there, so I'm going to include that. And then I'm also going to include the seam of this paper, and that'll help kind of distort and show the distortion of the paint tube as well. that way and I'm a little bit larger than life for the paint tube um, you know try to draw things as close as you can to to life so turn it and do another quick uh, but you see it, it doesn't take too long if you get your if you get everything done right relationship wise and, and, and if you need to figure out relationship how much how long is this as compared to that? So this is about that long. So that tells me the, the part that's sticking up is about half half as long. So when I do my rectangles, I'm gonna make it about half as long. Be a little bit more 
freer and loose with my, my sketches on this one. Once I've decided the thing was, I'm going to go ahead and finish it off. And darken everything in so you guys can really see the contour line. Contour line drawing of a paint tube. Well, two paint tubes, I guess. You know, based on this one paint tube. Um, like I said, posted to the stream the objects that I need you guys to draw and go ahead and get it done. <laughs> 